Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo ThinkPad Model P52. This is a beast of laptop and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can replace your keyboard if your keyboards are not working or if the nipple in the middle not working you just want to replace the whole keyboard. In this video I'm gonna show you guys really really easy to replace the keyboard you can do it at home. I'll leave the part for the new keyboard in the video description if you want to purchase. So I see these people, my client, try to remove the keyboard from here. It just, just lifted up right from here and just uh, kind of lifted from here. So that's not how you're supposed to remove the keyboard. There's an easier way to do it. And I'm going to go over the tools that you're going to need. First thing first, you want to make sure the laptop is off and you don't want to power have it powered on while you do this. Make sure you power on completely. Even better, you might want to remove the battery. To remove the battery, just simply pull the trigger towards the right side and remove the battery so that way you don't risk anything. So once we remove the battery, we're gonna grab ourselves a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. These are one of the best screwdrivers I ever used. We're gonna be using a double zero screwdriver double zero bit from Phillips. These are S2 class steel. If you get the pro set, you get an opening tool, tweezers, and a few other stuff. If not, for the opening tool, go ahead and grab a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Now, to remove this keyboard, there's only one way to remove it. You need to remove left and right clicks right here. So we need to remove this one and this one. To do that is really simple. Grab this bottom side, the big curve right in here. Set it down right under the key in the middle. And all you want to do is just bring it down to the trackpad and the key will just go ahead flying off there. So pretty much what it happens, it just comes out it, like this and you want to pull it out in 45 degree angle. But something just flickers up, there are little hinges right at the back, it scoops right underneath and there's a tiny two clips that holds it from here. So pretty much lifting this one up and you're just pulling it out. Same thing on this side, you want to put it right there and flip it over and remove the keys. The reason we do this is because there's a tiny screw here and tiny screw right here that we need to remove. The screws do have a C-lock on them, you just have to twist just a few turns and that's it. Now you want to push the keyboard towards the under the palm rest gently while you rotate these ones. Just try to push. There we go. And it should go, you see, I pushed it and it went through, through the, on the palm rest and the F1, F5 to F12, this row is hitting the palm rest. And you see a tiny gap right here. Now, what you need to do simply, to lift it up from here, grab from the side, but don't yank it up and bring it towards yourself so you uh, release the back side. Now you want to flip it face down like this and leave it right there. There's your two flex cables that come from here. So to remove these two flex cables, to remove these two flex cables, all you need to do is to put your fingernails at the back right here. I don't have, right in here, and you want to flip this one. Let's imagine this is my fingernail. I'm going to grab a flat screwdriver, screw. So I use my fingernail, but you can use a flat screw right here. And you want to flip it upward, just like that. And the flex cable will come out easy. Same thing for the keyboard flex right here. Bring it up 90 degrees and slide out the flex cable. And that's how you remove the keyboard. I'll try to get the link for this new keyboard. So people try to lift it from here. That's why they bend the keyboard backward. I'm going to bend it back to its normal position. Right there. So the model for this one, it is right underneath. It's a part number. It's SN20P34. 41.9 so that's there's another model number here that's a part number the model number it's cmnbl-10 6 la la stands for latin america that means this is a spanish keyboard yours might say us at, at the end but for us keyboard you can put any keyboard you like any format keyboard you like so that makes no difference they pretty much they all come in the same tray let's say that you have the new keyboard in here 
all you want to do to set it down like this and fold the keyboard uh, flex it the way it's supposed to be you want to make sure the locks are open and you want to slide the keyboard the flex right inside the jack all the way in if you pay attention this one the blue one has a little tiny earlobes on the side right here so it will not go straight in you have to bring it down in 45 degree angle so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put it put it down in like a landing a plane in a 45 degree angle right inside the jack so the earlobes are inside and then i'm gonna close the lock right over this one doesn't have any earlobes so pretty much you can just uh, push it down straight in i'm gonna use a curved tweezers so you guys can see but you guys can do this by your hand so i'm gonna put it right there all the way in i'm gonna hold it without a finger i'm gonna close the lock right over now that we have those flex cables in make sure the flex cables are bent over the way it's supposed to be so it's just straight when you have the keyboard in this position now we're gonna flip it over first we want to put the back end under the palm rest until the keys hit the function key the palm rest hits the function key and then we're going to push it down all the way down and we're going to slide it towards yourself straight and so there's no more gap in here now the last thing would be to just grab the and bit double zero double zero yes phillips and we're going to tighten up the screws you don't have to go crazy tightening up this screw just gently and then grab the key looks put it put the back end of the keys down and then simply just push down and it just locks in place and this is how you upgrade your keyboard for your lenovo thinkpad model p52 i hope you guys like this video i helped you guys out you can click that like and subscribe to support the channel if you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in my next videos.